Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Terraria on the Nintendo Switch. Today, we are continuing our adventure in the middle of the night, trying to just continue to survive. Of course, we got pretty lucky in our first episode. I definitely suggest you check it out before moving forward with today's episode, but I did get quite a lot done. I was able to find a bunch of chests right by our spawn. I was able to um, get a lot of some things crafted, like our house here and my armor and some different weapons and stuff, which was great. Now I'm looking into maybe crafting a bed, if I could figure out how to do that. Because I know that beds sort of tie your spawn point to where they are. Uh, you should stay indoors, yep. You should focus on gathering life crystals to increase your maximum life. That'd be cool. Your current equipment simply won't do. You need to make better armor. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Uh, you can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt and your ax to chop down trees. Just place a cursor, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we know that. If you wanna survive, yeah, okay. So far, pretty simple stuff. I really hope those zombies won't destroy that door. That's sort of what I'm worried about right now is that that's what they'll do. Like, I just don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of these guys and hopefully more of them won't show up as I'm digging down below. We'll find out if Scott's nowhere to be seen and there's a bunch of zombies everywhere. I mean, maybe he'll turn into a zombie. Okay, there's that. Good luck overnight, buddy. I am going to keep digging downwards. Actually, <laughs> hold on. I always forget something, don't I, buddy? Oh, there's a little bunny. I need to build both a bunch of torches. So there's that. Um, actually, let's build, yeah, let's build 60 of them. That's a, as much as I can build right now with my current gear. And then I need to make as much of these as I can so that if I get stuck, I can get out. Okay, that should be pretty good. Um, I have a health potion. If I wanted to go back to my chests and see if there's maybe one or two other things I could do. I mean, I'm hoping I don't get in too much trouble in this first uh, mining foray. Maybe I could get the umbrella. That way, if uh, there's something, you know, up in the, or if we're really high up in the sky or something. And then I could also get the bow and arrow, which I haven't tried out yet, so that'll be fun. Um, see so yeah, if I just want to do a test shot with it. Yep, <laughs> just like Scott does. Okay, cool. So I'm good to dig downwards and sort of see just what else is available. I'm hoping we can find a treasure chest somewhere around here, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, and just like caves in general would be nice, but also there's stuff like life crystals and plenty of different enemies to find, but I think we found our first ore vein, which is cool. Uh, it looks like I sort of messed up when it comes to the, <laughs> oh boy. Um, that was weird. Um, when it comes to the, putting down torches, I mean. <laughs> and like, you know, I have like some in one inventory and some in the other. I thought they would just sort of automatically combine, but I guess they didn't. There we go, we got some copper, which is good. Now what we really need is like more iron ore. We're sort of building over to the left a little bit to see if maybe there's some more stuff to find. It doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna continue building downwards. And I have a feeling we're getting close to something. It'll be much easier once it's daytime, but it's sort of impossible to tell once you're this deep underground, because the map makes it seem like it's daytime, but it also looks that way during nighttime, which I don't like too much. Hopefully they'll change that at some point, or maybe there's a way to change it, I'm just not aware. Okay, so we're getting pretty deep. Now the thing I don't want to do is, let's uh, do that. Why did it build like multiple there? I only pressed the button once. There we go, we're good, we can go back down. Um, I don't wanna end up accidentally digging right through a uh, cave and just falling and plummeting, so try to be careful. But definitely I think that, you know, once it becomes daytime again, which it may, you know, sometime soon, hopefully, you'd imagine, um, we could go and check out that one cave. I probably wanna get a potion of like the recall potion. We have a lot of those now from the chest, so I probably wanna get one of those so that if I get into a bind, I'll be fine. So, so far. Not too much going on in terms of finding any kind of cool stuff. But I'm sure if we keep digging, we'll eventually find something, right? Ooh, I'm actually seeing some stuff on the map. Ah, what? No, no, that's bad. Oh no, that means Scott's in trouble. That means Scott's in trouble, right? Uh-oh. Okay, so, um, let's do this and try to get back up there. I'm coming for you, buddy. There's a demon eye, too. Did Scott open the door? I mean, I still see his icon on the map. Is stuff just spawning in here? He's trying to run away. He can't get away from me. 
What did you do? I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to dig like this. Maybe it just starts spawning monsters and stuff. I don't really know because these seems totally fine. It still is nighttime though, which is not good. Okay then, you know what? Maybe he's just evil. He just wanted to dump some stuff on me. But I'm gonna go and grab a recall potion. We're gonna go to that one mine that we were getting, uh, we were taking a look at. I'm in the wrong chest. I need this one. And just one should do. Just take one, put it there, and then maybe put away some of my other stuff that I'd, I'd, I'd rather not lose. So like I have some copper ore. I can put that in here, so. No wait, wrong button. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Um, so this right here and the flower, sure why not? And then the one copper bar. Hmm. Okay, that should be good. So I'm gonna be bombarded by enemies when I go out there. To be expected at this point. Oh, that zombie has a little slime on his head. Oh, I can see it's starting to become daytime, which is great. I really needed that. Come on. Got it, that's a gel. And some silver and stuff, which is always good. Once we have a lot of money, apparently other N or NPCs can start showing up. And we need to make more stuff for that, but I feel like right now the best thing we can do is try to get more ores and expand that way before we try to get more NPCs and stuff. Come on now. Gotcha. And we see this guy. You leave the little fish alone. How rude are you? So this is why I wanna make iron doors because I'm pretty sure the zombies at some point or another can actually knock the whole uh, door down if it's not strong enough. Like eventually it just gets weaker. Why is this not closed? There it goes, okay. Um, so I'm gonna get up here and we're gonna make our way to that mine. I mean, we have some good stuff right now so we should be able to make it. Whoa, a star! I don't know what these do. Um, oh, what is this stuff? A lens ammo, it disappears after sunrise, so I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, I might as well try to like use it. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's doing anything, except for just going, hey everybody, look at me, I have a star, eee. So yeah, we can just, no, no! <laughs> oh, you mean slime. Okay, I'm destroying these guys. Destroying them. It might be better just to dig to the right from this cave. It'd be cool if we turned this whole cave into like our own little underground operation. That's where we started our adventure. Might not be that bad an idea. There might be more secrets still yet for this cave to give us. That would be cool. Okay, so yeah, let's get digging from here. We're also gonna get some clay out of it, which I don't really know what clay can be used for, but I'm sure it's helpful. I anyway, mean, we're not really, you can see on the map on the right, we're not really that far away from what we need to get to, so digging like this, it's at the least gonna get us some clay blocks, so that's good. And if I can find iron, which I'm pretty sure this ore you can see to the very right is actually iron, if I could get some iron and build a better pickaxe, that'd be huge. So that's what I'm mostly focused on in today's episode, is just getting slightly better gear and moving forward with that. I think there's gonna be a lot of slow progress in this series, it's just gonna be me chipping away at making my way farther into the game. So I'm sorry if you know, you're know you looking for a Terraria expert that knows everything about the game and can beat it in like 10 minutes. I, that's not me, sorry. <laughs> but uh, I still hope you enjoy. I mean, you'd probably stop watching by this point. And this is why it's important to put torches down. Look at this, we already got copper right over us. And also slime. Get out of here, wait, I, I'm trying to change my weapon. There we go. See, there's quite a lot of copper. Always good to get. I do need to jump for this one. Okay, that does work, that's good. Okay, a little bit more. And excellent, we're gonna move forward. See, this is definitely starting to look like iron over this way, so that's always good. Come on now, and who knows what'll be at the bottom of this. I need to be very careful. I don't wanna jump down if I can avoid it. I wanna make little platforms. Oh boy. I see that slime catching up to us. You know what, Mr. Slime? I wanna try my bow and arrow on you. Hey, that was cool. <laughs> okay, cool, we got him. There's more slimes coming, but in the meantime, I should be okay. Just to keep digging, almost there. And this will be like, a, if this is a big cave system, this will be a nice shortcut to getting there. And that'd be awesome. So, lots of big perks by doing this, for sure. 
Okay. And this is iron, yeah, okay. I was looking for, there's like so many little names popping up. Ooh, we get another treasure chest already. Man, oh man, is that a, oh, I think there's another slime. Okay, so we can place these on the wall. Can I place these? Oh, they do make staircases. You just have to do it at an angle. So what's in here, whoa. Okay, we have silver coin, torches, mining potion, recall potion, lesser healing potion, rope, copper bars, grenade, and radar detects enemies around you. Whoa, three enemies nearby. How cool is that? Two enemies nearby, that is super cool. We got super lucky with that one, that's for sure. And I definitely wanna take this treasure chest, so I'm gonna take that in just a moment. There it is, chest. And then who knows what else is around here. We got more pots. And is it gonna end soon? I guess not, we'll have to find out. Right now though, I got some rope, oh, a lot of rope. And silver coins, and copper, and some wooden arrows. Man, this is great. Like this could not have gone better. I hear a duck. Oh, yeah, there's a duck down here. He's like, you have found my secret home, goodbye. <laughs> All right, well. See ya. Oh, that sort of worked, but also didn't. Why is it not working no more? Huh, I don't know. It's oddly picky. I wanna find out what's up here though. Oh no, <laughs> that's not how I find out. There's another slime coming for me. I don't know what other enemies may be nearby, but there are indeed enemies nearby. Okay. See, I would think that I would just have to, I don't know. Like, why was it working before and it's not working now? The world may never know. I'm sure it's something that uh, Scott can tell us about, so I'll have to ask him the next chance we get. Okay, this is sort of like a weird dead end, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> I can jump into it, can't jump out. There we go. So there's not too much here, that's fine. Had to find out one way or another. Oh, there's a blue slime. There are tons of enemies nearby now. Uh, do you guys wanna come down here and fight me? Or are you too scared? I have plenty of things to restore my health. Another chest coming up! Okay, whoa, that's new down there. So what do we got in this one? Whoa, a spear does eight melee damage. How much does our thing do? Eight melee damage, so that's pretty cool. Get some variety, 4% um, critical stri strike chance, for slow speed, and strong knockback. So I wanna try that for sure. Wait, hold on, there we go. Um, we also have four copper bar, 54 rope, 34 arrows, healing potions, recall potions, and a bottle. Man, oh man, this is great. I cannot ask for anything better so far. I'm gonna grab some of this clay, but more importantly, as you guys could probably see, we got some kind of tungsten. Didn't know tungsten was a thing. Oh no, actually, I, th I think that I remember that. Very interesting. Okay, well I got some tungsten. I don't know what it can be made for, maybe we can make tungsten uh, stuff. What's with that? There's a weird little rock there I destroyed. Don't know if that had anything. Well, can we put, oh, you see, this is like an endless background, so we can't put torches on the back of that anymore. So this is where it gets really deep. Can I put a torch here? Yeah, this is weird. Um. I don't know what's going on there, but this is where we can do this, Wee! Wait, I missed some iron, oh no. Okay, what is this? This is like a statue of a stool, a stool statue. Ah, uh, no, it's a jellyfish statue, ah, got you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, see now this time, it sort of almost worked like a staircase, but then it stopped. I don't know why. But I can still place these anywhere, huh? No. It was working that way for a moment. At least I can make them diagonal. Oh no, my battery's low. That's not good. I'm gonna have to make a lot more of these, aren't I? I hope I have more wood around then. Because if not, I'm in trouble. Can I make this jump? Oh, I can't. <laughs> um, well, actually, that should be fine. I should be able to make like a little bridge from here. But I do have more wood, so that's good. And let's... Try to build that if it'll let me. I don't know if it will. Isn't that weird? Okay, that time it worked. That way I can get across here 
much easier for sure. And now when it comes, ah, going over there, I do want to try to figure this out. I know I'm not very good at this game so far. <laughs> it's going to take me some time, a lot of time, but it'll be worth it. I could also make different types of arrows. I don't know what kind they are. doesn't really say. Well, maybe because I already had stuff in my inventory. Yeah, so there's like Jester's arrow, and there's also flaming arrows. I, I, okay, so this just needs a star. That's interesting. That needs torches. And there's like stuff like a campfire. Life regen is increased when near the campfire. That's cool. And a rope coil throw to create a climbable line of rope. Huh. Just gonna use the rest of our wood right now to make that. And then I'm gonna get over this way and try that out. So why I'm doing that, of course, is so that I can get over here and try to get that iron destroyed. Because iron, oh yeah, and there's still some on the floor over this way, I think. Is this iron? You bet it is. Iron is our most important ore that we need to get at the moment, I feel. And if you disagree, feel free to let me know. I mean, obviously anything better than iron is great too, but I'm pretty sure at some point we're gonna start running into ore that we cannot get unless we have better uh, stuff. So that's what I'm trying to figure out for right now. Can I destroy this? Okay, this wooden platform that I didn't really mean to place. I like to start getting those back. <laughs> okay, um. Destroy as much of this as I can. I know it's all on a bit of a awkward angle. I'm gonna put a torch up here so I can sort of look around. There isn't too much going on. I could dig a little bit to the right just out of curiosity because, oh, there is a little opening. Okay. I don't see too much going on in here, but it's good to know it's here. There we go. And I sort of want to dig a little bit down and why I do is because it seems like there might be a bit of an opening. We made some great progress. I mean, I found a chest, it had some cool stuff. I got this cool spear, hi-ya. <laughs> Definitely is a bit of a slow one. But I thought that could be helpful, especially if I'm trying to keep enemies at bay with that strong knockback that it has. Yeah, I sort of want to try to build. Whoa, cave worms. Oh, those guys are creepy, I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. But they sort of dig through. What is, what, 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 what was those flashing? Okay, here he is. I didn't get him at all. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, stop that. All right, let me put a torch or two down. Oh yeah, okay, 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 you're so rude. Oh, almost got him, almost got him, come back here. Come back here, you coward. You only wanna hit me when I'm not looking. I'm gonna get you. Just you wait. Here he comes, I hear him. Yep. Ah, I got him. <laughs> okay, that took a lot of effort. Let's try to build across here too. Oh no, I did it again. Is this sand or is this gold? Oh, this might be gold. There's sand over it though, and that's where I gotta be careful because I'm pretty sure that, ah, yeah, it'll fall on me. No, that's hardened sand. Okay, that's not gold. Okay, then I'm good over this way. I don't wanna mess with sand right now because I know it'll fall on me and it is very dangerous. So I'm trying to just get up this way. I wanna see if I can't get this copper. I should be able to. And got it. Cool, so we can keep going this way now. I don't entirely trust it. Whoa, hey, whoa, what was that? That was a tiki thing. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna drink a potion then. Thank you very much. Gotta be careful that it's back. Okay, so it, it doesn't just do it once and then stop. It's gonna keep doing it. Okay, well then I'm gonna very carefully make a little platform across, and then eventually we're gonna have to take, oh geez, I can't take another potion just yet. I'm gonna have to definitely take one of those teleport things, because I'm out of wood. Getting across here won't be easy, unless I just wanna make it dirt blocks for now, which I think I will. Okay, can I take another potion yet? Not yet, the cooldown is still going on, which is not good. Can I not do this? Oh, I can. Because I can destroy that tiki head thing. I can only hope. It's definitely a tough trap though. So my health is slowly regenerating. And, can I drink this or no? Still can't. It's very, very tough. There we go. Okay, so let's check this out a little bit. 
You gotta be very careful with that kind of stuff. That's why you never wanna run around the caves with low health, because that guy might just attack you. Oh, that looks like there's some stuff around here. Oh, here comes a slime. I'm saying that there's four enemies nearby. I don't know what the scope of that is. Hmm. Whoa, look at this, okay. This is cool and everything. Okay, there wasn't too much. There's a jellyfish in there, cool. We got a jellyfish statue, so good to know. But I need to destroy this guy at all costs because if not, he's gonna destroy me. It's a dark trap. Oh boy, this is where it gets scary. This is why it's good that I'm placing torches around as many places as I can. Whoa, there's a heart, there's two! There's two hearts! Oh my gosh, it's super important. We need to do that right now. Um, So I'm gonna first not do that and get this iron ore. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so exciting because they increase your health, just like Zelda style. Okay, I'm gonna get down here real fast. Maybe place a couple of torches down before the slime gets me. Okay, ready? Hiya! Oh, I, I didn't quite do that correctly. Ha! Okay, come on, come on. Try it again, try it again. One more. Get over here. Uh, got it. Okay, so am I just supposed to walk up and activate it? Or is there something more I could do? Another slime, really? I think I'm just supposed to break it. I do like this, though. It might just be better to use my sword for right now, though. Okay, he is falling. See ya, buddy. Okay, so all I gotta do is there we go. We got it. Uh, it was a light crystal, and then there's another one down here. Come on, get it. Oh, it might be because it's, no, no, okay. For a second I thought it was because it was underwater. And we got some rope. How cool is that? So we got two of these. Permanently increases max life by 20. So what I wanna do with these is I wanna break it down here into our inventory and then just use it. And look at that, we have 140 health. Awesome. Oh, I did not even see this tiki thing. But now I'm not as worried about it. I got plenty of health to deal with you, dude. Get out of here. The dark trap. Oh, did we get, we got emerald out of that. Oh, that's cool. No, my, my light source. There it goes. Okay. Certainly very interesting. What? What is this? Uh. I guess that wasn't anything. Now, what is up there? That's what I'm cur currently curious about. Hmm, and it looks like there's more iron? No, that's just rock, I think. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> uh, got the torch. Oh, and there's more stuff over this way too. Super duper exciting, all the stuff we're finding. Oh, and there's some ore right in front of me. Some of it gets very subtle. Very, very subtle artwork to it. It's sapphire, wow, okay. I don't think we've seen anything else like that around here. There we go. So how big is this area? Not too big, but we do have more tungsten. <gasps> oh, I spoke too soon, what is it in there? We got a golden chest? Man, oh man, okay. It's just a thing after a thing after a thing. <laughs> I need to uh, just be careful. I don't want to die and lose a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't know how much you lose when you do. I know you at least lose money. Okay. Uh, grab a spell. Oh, that's a red slime. We've never seen a red slime before. We've seen blue, green, and black. And an umbrella slime, but he was also blue. Okay, so let's get into here. Man, it's so exciting when you find stuff in this game. Definitely get rid of the tungsten. I probably want to get that. Oh, there's another red slime. He's like, you were talking about me? Now you gotta deal with me. Yeah, I definitely want to get some of this copper, but it's not the highest of my priorities right now. Right now, let's destroy this stuff. And I guess just sort of take what I can as fast as I can, because these guys are gonna, <gasps> Oh, a magic mirror gazing into the mirror to return home. That, that's so important. So we can go home at any time. We don't need the potion anymore. And we also got night owl potion. That is super duper cool. I'm gonna definitely take that golden chest. And we also have a axe statue. And there's like a bunch of statues in the game you can find and collect. Man, we could not have been more lucky. I wanna slice through a bunch of this cobweb. Got more statues waiting for me. that there, 
Can I break these chandeliers? Yeah, I can, silver chandelier. Oh, did I get him? No, I think I, I beat up the, uh... hmm. I don't know if I can hit him from this angle. Yeah, not quite, that's fine. I got the uh, the pot that was up there. So I wanna go down this way and also get a copper chandelier because why not? Well, that unleashed a bunch of water. There's just like, there's so much to get to, so much to do, so much to clear out. Definitely wanna get that there because I see some more iron. Ow, what hit me? Was that sand? Oh, I guess that was sand. I could not have asked for anything better though. A bunch of cool chests, a magic mirror, and uh, two health crystals so that we have more hearts. Survive more, adventure more. So I would like to get up there and I'll deal with that guy or those guys. Um, I'm starting to run out of inventory space. Is there any way I could put stuff into the chests and then, <laughs> these guys really wanna get me. Into the chest and then back in my inventory, that'd be convenient. Okay, come on guys, come in here. Got it? Yeah, you guys are going down. Going down. Now I don't wanna go too far into water because I could definitely drown and not have too much of a way to get back up as far as I know. But I do wanna make this jump and then get over this way. It's saying that there's two enemies nearby. No way, another one. Another room with a golden chest. Hold on, before I do that, oh and I got bombs now. Ooh, that's gonna be super useful. I wanna get across to here because we do have iron up this way. First off, which I didn't even notice at first. Can I just jump up and get some of that? You bet I can. This is so cool. I am so happy. I thought I was just gonna die a bunch the first 10 episodes, but now we're just finding tons of cool stuff. There's a little pot up here I wanted to grab, and we can also grab the copper from here. I'm still trying to do a good, thorough job with collecting everything as much as I can, because I feel like at the end of the day, that's gonna be important. I wonder if there's a way I can see my map, like the full screen version of my map. I would like to see that and just like sort of look around. Oh boy, um, I can jump and get the rest of this. There it is, come on, nice. And get these two, excellent. Ooh, okay, there's some more stuff up here. I don't know what kind of ore this is, but it's definitely not just rock, right? No, this is iron. Okay, the, the coloring was weird. I think there might be more slightly to our left. At this point, I'm never leaving this cave. <laughs> it just keeps giving and giving. But doesn't this look like iron or potentially iron over this way? Oh, and you know what? We're right below our house right now. So I can actually just dig upwards. Good to know. I hope uh, Scott is doing okay. No, this is just stone? No, that's, okay, tiny bits of it are iron. Okay, I was right. Hmm. So I do have a couple more of these now. Not a ton. I definitely need to get back up and organize my inventory because it is a super duper mess right now. Hmm. Whoa, there's just so much iron to get though. So much of it. Uh. How do I wanna do this? I'm thinking I could, first off, maybe dig up all this iron. I don't know, I feel like I, I'm going slower now because I could have, ooh, I could have iron stuff and be going much quicker. Okay, now the staircase is working. It's just, uh, as soon as you put down another block that's not diagonal to it, it stops working. It's very picky. Yeah, like that, okay. Ah, no, not what I wanted. There we go, okay. This is going really good. I'm gonna dig this iron up. This is where I could put down one of those bombs I got. I'm still gonna get to that other room. <laughs> the laundry list, the things I gotta do, they're all exciting, but they're all crazy. Come on, come on. Let's dig up all this. I know, my battery's low. I'll plug it in soon, I promise. Try to get into here. There we go. Maybe I can leave the bronze for later. Just because of the copper, I mean. You know what I mean. Um, just because there's so much more to do. And some of it's slightly more exciting than getting copper. So I don't have any more, but I can make a couple more. And then just go across here. 
Oh, there's more copper over here, or iron. And even more. Okay. And then there's some water over this way. The caves, they never end. Full of goodies. I don't know if there's too much over that way. But as you can see, like if you see on our map on the right, on the very top left, you can see sort of like a thin little line. That is the cave I started building last episode. So if I am, if, if I go ahead and I use the mirror to teleport home, I gotta be careful because I actually made it right out, like my my warp point, my teleport point is right outside of my house. So if it's nighttime, I'm gonna be right in front of a bunch of enemies. Oh no, I got another worm. Whoa. Whoa, hey. Hey, buddy. Mind your manners. Uh. Okay, there's stuff up there. I'm not too worried about it. I'm worried about getting down this way. And maybe while I'm attacking, yeah, he can just get hit. I don't think he got hit there. <laughs> He's not very nice. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got him a good amount that time. That's good to see. If he does that again, yeah, he's in trouble. Oh, there's more than one of them. Of course there's more than one of them. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and start swinging. You wanna mess with me? You'll get messed with. Yeah, we got both of them, excellent. So all I wanna do at this point is get into this treasure chest right down this way. There we go, we'll get some torch, a stone block, and whatever else I can find. It looks like there's, yeah, there's an anvil. Oh, there's some water there. And a crafting bench, it's like some old civilization. Get a tin chandelier, and inside of this chest, what do we have inside of it? We have, whoa, we have bombs, more recall potions, more torches, and a strong enchanted boomerang with plus 15% knockback. That is cool. So at this point, I don't have any space for anything else. Like, I don't know if, yeah, I can maybe stack. Oh, did I eat a potion there? Didn't know that was something I could do with that button. Good to know. Um, so what I'm gonna do now <laughs> with my maxed out inventory of things, I'm going to get the new magic mirror we just got and I'm gonna put it over the umbrella. And what I can do is use it and it'll teleport me back home. Where luckily it's daytime, Scott's chilling out on the chair. I had the coolest adventure, dude. You totally missed out, but you're invited to come next time. How's your health? Uh, no, you're full on, full on health. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go down this way so I can get to the chest room. And we can put down some more chests if I need to, soon enough. But for right now, okay, this is the potion. Yeah, I definitely need to organize some stuff. I don't need this many, so for right now I'm just gonna transfer. Transfer everything and then I can reorganize, you know? I feel like that's always a good idea. Um, so other potions, I got this one. And this one, I never need those now, which is crazy. Uh, and that's all my potions, okay. And this is all my crafted items. Mostly things like ores and stuff. I got another anvil. And maybe I'll just put the treasure chests in there for right now. And I got more. And sapphires, actually no, I'll put that in the raw materials, because that is a raw material. Hmm, I mean maybe I'll put this stuff in like home decor. Or make me make this stuff just like iron bars and stuff, things like that. I don't know, I'm still deciding because there's so many items in this game. Like there's a lot of items in Minecraft, but there is a ton of items in this game. Uh, let's choose this one, there we go. Okay, so this is like base material. So things like sapphire would be good, sand for sure, dirt, emeralds, mushrooms, uh, not not statues, that's for sure. Uh, mud blocks is a good one. Tungsten ore, wood, cobweb, sand block. That kind of stuff is always good to put in here. All of that ore. Oh, there was a mining potion I missed right there. And I think the lens is also something we can get a lot of later on. Okay, so is there like a, I guess it's not like an organization, quick stack, restock, sort items. Here we go, whoa, that was cool. Super helpful. Um. Over this way, this is where we have like weapons, or mostly, except for this. No wait, not that. This, <laughs> yeah, just like holdable items. So I'm thinking, we could put the spear in there, and maybe the throwing knives. And the umbrella shuriken, bombs, boomerang, that kind of stuff for sure. And this pickaxe that's not good. <laughs> uh, and the rope. No, not the potion, the rope. We have 531 rope. I gotta start using that a bit more because that'd be really helpful to have. Um, so I think I'll just keep this with me because um, I think that'd be better than this. 
So you know what? If I have another chest, which of course I do, I have quite a few. Um, what I'm curious about is the golden chests. Are they just golden or can they hold more? We're about to find out. I'm gonna place it right there, if I can. There you go. Um, so if I, one, two, three, four. One, two, now they hold the same amount. Okay, good to know. So what do I wanna put in this one? Maybe I could put some of the stuff that I found in those rooms. So like maybe this could be like our homely chest. Like we just put a lot of home stuff in here. Um, so this, the chandeliers, the table, the anvil, the statues, that kind of stuff. More chests, walls might be good. Excellent, okay. That's a lot better. Definitely for sure. Um, and I could put another chest here if I wanted to. But what I, I wanna see is, this is the gold chest. I can loot all, deposit all, I could sort items, and then I could rename it. I could just name it home. Oh wait, not home gold chest. Okay, whatever. Let's see how that goes. Like, will that like say its name anywhere? If I put my cursor over it, does it delete? Okay, that's good to know. This could be potions, which I never put the mining potion. Oh wait, it's right here. I was gonna say, I don't know where that went. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and rename. Wait, what? I don't know what happened there. Can I just, why Why is there the T still? I don't understand. Okay. Well, that is weird, isn't it? I don't know why the T is in front of everything. I don't know how to change the cursor. Because there's not like any kind of blinking thing. Okay, we're just gonna do potion T because I don't know how to change that. Yeah, it's super weird. Okay, potion. <laughs> okay, well that's still super cool. Um, I think that's just about everything I wanted to do in today's episode. We made some amazing progress with everything. I think the last thing I'll do is, I mean, I got a lot of iron ore there. I actually need to go and grab it. And also put away these grenades, because I forgot to do that. Um, so, wait, no wrong button. I also need to get the seeds out of there because that is not what that's supposed to be for. Um, and I need to sort this one. Uh, sort items. But what I'm looking for now is the iron. Iron ore, I'm gonna take all of that and we are gonna get back up this way and see what I can, can I craft iron bars right now? Because if not, that's what'll be my goal next episode is to figure out what I need to do to craft iron bars. Right now it looks like I can't. Okay, so I'll have to figure that out in the next episode. But for right now, we mined a bunch. We had a great time. And now I'm gonna destroy some slimes. It's real fast. <laughs> but yeah, I cannot wait to see what we might be able to find underground, above ground, to the left, to the right, all over the place in the next episode of Terraria. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment mining zebras so that I know you've watched at the end of the You Are A Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.